I am super excited with what I consider to be a little bit of a teaser box here. Um, more than likely you guys have already seen this box if I had to assume if you're active with the Pokemon card stuff. But there's one thing about this box that gets me excited for the upcoming future with Pokemon card collecting. And yes, I only picked up the Fue Coco for now. I would like to eventually get all three, but it's not a major priority. So there are actually kind of two exciting things. One we already knew, and that was that EX is returning. So this is our first new EX card. Of course, it's a jumbo, so it's more just an art piece than anything else. But this is basically our first uh, look at a Scarlet and Violet Pokemon on a card, at least to my knowledge with the Maridon EX. Um, I actually like the Red Boy more, but this is the one that we ended up getting. It's actually weird. I like the design of this thing more, but when you're playing through Scarlet, I just feel like Corridon has so much more personality. Like this one just feels more stiff, even though I really like its design. But I don't know, if you guys like Maridon more than Corridon, let me know. But it's here where things get exciting and where I hope this is a sign for Scarlet and Violet. Here we have Quaxley. This is the first Scarlet and Violet promos. You can see down there in that corner, SV1EN. I'm assuming, actually, no, no, okay, so we have that. So it's 52 in a set. Interesting. Am I getting things confused? It should be noted that this is my, uh, this video is being recorded before Crown Zenith has released, which is supposed to just be Sword and Shield. So I don't think this is any Crown Zenith stuff. Um, by the time you guys are watching this video, Crown Zenith is already out. Hopefully I will have already had a video out on it. This is being recorded before that day. But we still have a very nice looking Quaxley card. And you may have noticed the border contains the hollow. I've been saying for a long time that I'm jealous of Japan's hollow cards because they do the white borders. And then whenever you get a hollow, the border is actually holographic as well. And I think it really brings everything together. And we're, we have it here with this promo. And I'm hoping that that means in the future, um, oh, that's weird. We'll look at that in here in a minute. Um, in the future with the Scarlet and Violet sets that our hollows are going to be like this. And if so, I am super excited. Then of course, oh wait, we actually have a code card there for the whole box. And then we have the Weed Cat. So yeah, that's actually interesting. So these are saying 13 of 198. We're seeing 52 of 198 on the Quaxley. But our Fue Coco here is actually a promo. So it's showing number two promo. Huh. So does that mean that this uh, version of Fue Coco only comes in the Fue Coco box and that you can get a different version of all of them? Now I might have to do all three boxes. I didn't pay enough attention to it. I'm gonna have to look for the others now. Anyways, this is a relatively smaller box. It comes with four packs. So assuming that all of them are going to be the same, we are going, if you buy this, you'll have a Silver Tempest, a Brilliant Stars, a second Silver Tempest, and a second Brilliant Stars. Not a bad little alignment going on here. And of course, in this box, you have the Fue Coco pin. Yeah, I might actually want to go get all the other boxes now. But cool, well, well, nice little pin. I guess we're just down to opening up packs. So we're doing our Silver Tempest. Um, if you guys have not watched my previous video, unless it was the Crown Zenith one, again, I, I don't have anything Crown Zenith at this point in time, but uh, that one should hopefully be out for this one is. Uh, if you guys watched my Arceus uh, UPC video, um, the pulls in that were pretty atrocious. Uh, we got some good value, but the number of pulls was bad. So I'm wondering if our four packs here can kind of redeem that a little bit. Not, We don't need a repeat of that UPC. Like I said, we got one really solid card in that, but it was mostly just duds or standard hollows. We have the Fungus as our reverse, and on the end, a Zera Aura. I love that boy. Although I probably wouldn't have been upset about the hollows that I pulled in that uh, UPC if those hollows had hollow borders, you know, just, just, just pointing that out. I actually don't remember, do Japan's reverses also do the border hollow? I don't think so. So here we're doing a Brilliant Stars. It appears that these are flips for Brilliant Stars. They're going so back and forth with the code card directions lately. But we have the Friends in Galar. We have more Grim and a Sorolla's Premonition. Going on to our commons, we have the Sneasel, the Grimer, the Execute, Farfetch'd. There's something keeps peeking out back there and I'm tired of like trying to prevent it. A Dust Skull. Oh! Okay, I was thinking it, the card that was peeking out was on the very back. No, we have Trainer Gallery 21 of 30, the Rapid Strike Ushifru V Max, specifically, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll say specifically the Rapid Strike right there, but I forgot I already read it because it's in that. 
I still love Trainer Gallery, and I believe this is one of the more rare ones because it's not just like a standard. Sorry, I'm like, when I'm adjusting the camera, it's shaking so much. It's because my hand is shaking. I, I believe this is one of the more rare ones because it isn't just a standard Trainer Gallery. It's actually a V Max or like a V. Very nice looking card. I have so many Ushifru cards, man. And like, I don't even really use him much in Scarlet and oh, Sword and Shield. Like, when I got to that DLC and did all that stuff, it's around the time I stopped playing the game. But he's still not a bad little Poke Boy. And on the end, we have a regular Ormadam. So let's go on to our Silver Tempest. This will be our second and final Silver Boy in here. It is weird going from my last video I recorded, you know, in this timeline of um, being a UPC with, you know, a bunch of packs to a box with four. It is a weird little turnaround here. Uh, get rid of our Steel Energy, and we have the Sun Flora. Primordial Altar, Dedenny, the Dewpiter, Spinda, Feebas, Noibat, Snowrunt, a Reverse, Golbat, and on the end, a Victini. All right, Brilliant Stars, you give us our first pull. Can you give us our second as well? This is our final pack of the video. This is definitely going to be a shorter video. Oh, yeah, we need to flip. Yeah, forgot. Uh, come on, show, 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 show. Well, I guess I didn't forget because I didn't ruin it, but I almost forgot. Three to the front, one out the back, and we have Asa Rolla's Premonition, although Sony, my Sony camera does not want to show you. Come on, Sony. I'm just going to stand perfectly still and see if Sony can figure it out. Okay, it cannot. Come on, Sony. I'll move it around. I'll move it around. Come on. Come on. There we go. We have the Siglith, the Pot Helmet, the Duskull, Purloin, uh, Shroomish, Piplup, Trap, Pinch, Bear Tick as our reverse, so no more trainer galleries. But on the end, okay, Hollow Torterra. Now you guys tell me, would that hollow look better if the border looked like that? All I'm saying. Man, I just, I've always been je jealous of Japan's hollows. I'm so happy that we have these, and I really, I'm just hoping that we're going to be seeing that with the Scarlet and Violet sets. That's the whole theme of this video. This box made me excited. That's the theme. Now, out of four packs, you know, getting one hollow and one really nice trainer gallery card. Can't complain too much. But now let's go on to the bonus card of the day. These are cards that I buy as singles specifically to go into this segment. Uh, I usually forget what's in here until it's time to show them on video. This one does look a bit more damaged. If you guys can see it okay, the whitening on that edge, I don't think it's showing up as well on camera. It's a bit more beat up than your standard whitening. Um... Aside from that, the corner's a little bad. This isn't the worst condition card I've bought as a single by any means, but it's not the best. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit older. We have, yes, we have the Delta Species Cedra, specifically from Dragon Frontiers. It is a stamped card. I freaking love these stamped cards. Still adding to this collection. This card is from back in 2006. I'm just a massive fan of Delta Species and I'm a massive fan of stamped cards. So getting both on one card? Yeah, yeah, you know I had to buy that when I saw it. Either way, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. And hopefully I'll be seeing all of y'all next time. Goodbye for now.